Hey, I'm Bram, and welcome to the Gamma Vlog. That was like the weirdest inflection I've ever done. It was. I'm just trying to shake it up a little bit, because it's Saturday, and you know, it's just, they say Saturday is a shake it up day. No one's ever said that. I'll bet you at least one person has said that. We're gonna go get some brunch now. It's a beautiful sunny day. Oh, hi, sun and green lawn, and oh, man. I don't have shorts or sunglasses, so Sean's just on it. On it. I'm on it. Chemistry homework is honestly at the point where it's, it's just pathetic how bad it is. Um, on Tuesday, we're doing a lab where we need to calculate all sorts of stuff that we haven't learned about. And my, my professor was basically like, yeah, just uh, read over the lab beforehand and maybe read over the chapter in the book. I've done both of those things and I still can't even do the pre-lab because I don't, I don't get it because we haven't been over it in lab. It's really frustrating. I'm just sitting here using Google to teach myself to do homework that I paid $20 for. I guess $40 for overall because I had to get homework for both lecture and lab. Um, using a useless book that I had to pay another $40 for. Like, how stupid is this? Just, it's really, it's dumb. It's the worst. I gotta do two more quarters of chemistry, but I'm honestly, we'll see what I end up doing. Cause I gotta sign up for my classes for fall quarter a week from Tuesday. But I don't even know what I wanna do anymore. Cause this is so bad. Um, I'll probably just do it, but we'll see. So for chemistry, for each of the labs that we have, we have to do these pre-labs, which are usually just some easy questions to make sure that you read the, the read through the lab and like know what's going on in the lab. And this one has um, a couple like actual problems at the end of it to solve um, to get a number, which is like a baseline for where we're starting in the lab. Uh, and as I was just saying, I don't know how to do this. So I sp I spent the last. It's been at least two, two and a half hours now reading this textbook, um, going on Google, doing a lot of math, just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. And I felt like I was finally getting to a point where I was, so I typed in my answer and it was wrong. So it lets you do it again. Um, usually it will give you a hint or something whenever you're wrong or a telling to get you back on the right track because this is supposed to be testing that you have, the, like not testing that you have the knowledge like a test, but uh, it's supposed to be making sure that you know how to do things and guiding you so that you do them right when they come to the lab. And uh, so after doing that for all that time, I got it wrong, I tried it again. And uh, I, I got a different answer, that one was wrong too. And after the third time, the program locks me out and I'm no longer allowed to try anymore. So after working two and a half hours, um, I'm not allowed to keep trying. I could do all this math on my own, but if I get a wrong or right number, I'll never know. And um, I don't get a, I don't, I don't really get a grade for this pre-lab anymore. So it's great. Chemistry is just really awesome. I'm in the process of writing a massive email to both my professor and the person who designs the, the lab homework because I'm just done. It's so stupid. And I'm guessing, yeah, there's probably other people who have successfully done this um, in the class but I'm not dumb, I'm not an idiot, and I've done chemistry before, and I've been working really hard, and just, like, if I, I feel like if I can't do it, there's like, if I'm punished for trying so hard instead of rewarded um, for doing my best, it's just, it's useless, it's stupid, I hate this class. My ranting is over, I'm good again, but I did Skype through dinner, so I might end up going to late night or something. I don't know why dinner closes at 6.30. I usually eat dinner at 6.30. But that's fine. Um, I, I emailed a couple people about the chemistry stuff. And then I went and researched more into different majors and minors. And I found a major I hadn't seen before. I don't know if I just overlooked it or if it's something new. I heard rumor maybe that it's something they're bringing back that used to be a thing. Where it is literally a journalism major combined with an environmental sciences major. And... You only need to take the one chemistry class, meaning I wouldn't have to do any more chemistry. I'd have to do a couple um, statistics courses, one or two. But it's like 120 credits. A lot of the things I'm already doing on the same track of doing, and it's basically environmental journalism is the major. And the deal with it 
is that on the major page, they're not currently accepting any new applicants or any new students into the major, which I don't know why you would cap a major, um, especially not with classes that overlap to other majors. It doesn't make sense to me. But I emailed the head. I mean, it's, it's run by different departments because it's a combined effort between the two departments. So I emailed the heads and I emailed like four different people. Um, about it asking if it's gonna open up again anytime or whatever and hopefully I can get in that because that is the best of every world right there but I'm gonna edit this now um, find something to eat and be done so I'll see you tomorrow but until then stay perfect